We know uh, that uh, medical treatments or, or conventional treatments for things like depression and OCD, they work in a large proportion of patients. But up to a third of patients with both depression or OCD are what we call refractory. They're, they're resistant to conventional treatment. So no matter what treatments we try in whatever combination, they just do not improve. So those patients are vulnerable to the long-term consequences of having an untreated psychiatric disorder. So it's in those patients that we try and that we are uh, obligated to try novel treatment approaches. Focused ultrasound can help in a few ways uh, in treating uh, psychiatric disorders, predominantly mood and anxiety disorders. So in the short term, what we can do is we can potentially look at replacing open neurosurgical approaches to these conditions. So we know that over the last few decades, there have been effective uh, surgical strategies, creating lesions, uh, strategic lesions in the brain in circuits that we know uh, have gone ARI uh, in patients with mood and anxiety disorders. Uh, and we know that in, in, in a significant subset of patients, they improve with those lesions. So now with focus ultrasound, we have the ability to generate the same lesions under real-time MRI guidance in a non-invasive fashion. So that is one strategy where we can use high-frequency ultrasound to replace and potentially enhance the safety of something that we know works with an open surgical approach. The second way is to potentially use the same approaches that we use for other conditions such as BBB opening, blood-brain barrier opening, uh, and to deliver agents to the brain that we think may be beneficial. So there are both long-term and shorter-term goals uh, that we can use focus ultrasound in these disorders. Uh, the other thing that we're particularly interested in is looking at what can predict how patients respond to certain surgical approaches. Are there certain what we call biomarkers? Are there certain features of the MRI scan, for example, that can predict whether somebody will or will not respond? This is where uh, an image-guided procedure like focus ultrasound really hits its stride, really uh, is able to, 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 to show its advantages with the ability to combine a diagnostic tool in MRI, in high-resolution MRI, with a therapeutic modality, which is generating a lesion. We have designed the study to, to primarily assess safety. So we want to make sure that we can uh, effectively target uh, in a safe way the regions of the brain uh, that we believe are dysfunctional or not working properly. Ideally, patients would also derive a benefit from this as we follow them over time.